My name is Steve Relbowski. I work at RCA Records, which is a division of the RCA Music Group, which is a Sony BMG record company. I am the Senior Vice President of Artists and Repertoire, in r for short, and responsible for signing artists such as David Gray, The Strokes, The Kings of Leon, My Morning Jacket, Rachel Yamagata, Ray LaMontagne, The Kills, Ben Queller, um, Matt Pond, and uh, I think that's it. I started in college. I was the guy running the concert committee at uh, school, which was uh, Buffalo State University, and simultaneously was the music director of the college radio station and doing uh, writing for student newspaper and independent music publications, as well as managing um, a band uh, and playing music myself. So. Uh, college was kind of a springboard into the industry as I made numerous contacts at record companies, booking agencies, and management companies in college. And uh, I was hired out of school uh, to be the tour manager for uh, by a management company that was managing B-52s, Talking Heads. and So I got into the music industry first as a tour manager. Um, professionally, having been a concert promoter and a music director and a journalist and a musician and a band manager in my high school and college days, and a disc jockey. So uh, from there, I went into artist management and had my own small company, roster of artists that were assigned to a few of the different major labels, and uh, included among them were Tom Verlaine, who was signed to Warner Brothers, the Plastics, who were signed to Island Records, and the Necessaries, who were signed to Sire Records. This would have been in the early uh, 1980s. And um, 1983, I was hired by EMI Records as an A&R guy in New York, and um, worked there for nearly a year. First signing was a band called Jason and the Scorchers, were then called Jason and the Nashville Scorchers, and was offered a position at Columbia Records, then a CBS Records label in 1984. Um, Columbia Records for three years. Highlights include The Outfield, um, Def Jam uh, label, which I brought to CBS, and that included artists such as the Beastie Boys, LL Cool J, Public Enemy, and uh, many more. So worked very closely with that, those artists and kind of the early stages of hip-hop joining mainstream kind of record company affiliation. From there, um, career path took me to California where I ran the A&R department for A&M Records. The signing highlights include Soundgarden, Soul Asylum, Blues Traveler, the Neville Brothers, and um, from there, back to New York, where I worked at Electra Records and the A&R department and uh, functioned as the head of A&R there for a period of time as well. And uh, signing highlights there include Nancy Griffith, Ween, Anthrax, The Breeders. And from Electra, uh, Arista Records for a brief period of time and then Interscope Records, and now the last seven years at uh, RCA, uh, where the artists that I already mentioned are, you know, things that have been done on my watch since I've been here. So um, that's 23-plus years of A&R at a variety of different record companies, both as the head of the department and um, kind of doing my own, doing my own thing.